Hi friends, in this video I will explain how to write calculation to find the uh, number of uh, weekdays or working days between two days, two dates. Um, for example, in this data source we have order date and ship date. We will find number of days between, uh, number of working days between those uh, date fields. So for that first let me drag order ID to the rows and drag order date uh, to the rows. Um, right click and choose exact date. convert it to discrete uh, let me drag order date again to find uh, weekday uh, right click choose uh, more and select weekday so if you see here we have uh, uh, the weekday of uh, every order date so first we will write calculation to shift um, uh, if uh, order date is falling on Sunday or uh, Saturday we will write calculation to shift those days to Monday Okay, first let me write calculation name the calculation as uh, shift order date if date part of weekday you know date part of weekday returns uh, 1 for Sunday and uh, 7 for Saturday so if this one is equal to 1 which means Sunday then date add data add function adds a particular uh, number of days based on the date date part so we want to add one day so give the date part as one comma one and uh, interval as one order date so all the dates uh, which are falling on sunday are shifted to monday now else if copy and paste this uh, same thing if this one is equal to seven that is Saturday then date add add two days which means if it is falling on Saturday we are shifting that day to Monday comma to order date and so let me drag this calculation choose exact date right click and choose discrete um, these dates are shifted to next monday and, but um, we still need to get the order dates if they are not falling on saturday or uh, sunday so for that we need to write else condition else order date okay so now uh, we have so this 14 5 is on uh, sunday so we, we are shifting this one to monday by adding one day okay similarly we'll write the same calculation for uh, shift date uh, to shift uh, whatever the dates um, uh, falling on uh, saturday or uh, sunday we will uh, shift those days to previous day that is friday okay let me drag shift date right click and choose exact date right click and choose discrete so let me drag ship date again to find the weekday right click and choose go to more and select weekday so what we are going to do if these dates falling on saturday and sunday we will shift these dates to previous day uh, that is friday sunday also we will uh, uh, subtract two days and uh, we'll take this date to friday okay so let me write a calculation uh, shift shift date sorry if date part of weekday comma shift date is equal to 1 then date and add 
so one meaning uh, sunday we need to uh, subtract uh, two days so we'll use uh, date add function and we give the interval negative value so that uh, uh, we can subtract two days comma minus two so shift date so this one uh, will shift sundays to friday else if date part let me copy and paste the same if this one is equal to 7 we need to subtract one day so date add day comma minus one ship date else we should get ship date for all other weekdays and click ok now drag this calculation and see the output right click choose exact date right click and choose discrete so if you see here saturday um, 25th is saturday we are shifting this calculation to friday by subtracting one day that is 24 11 2017 Similarly, if the dates are falling on uh, Sunday, 26-11, we are shifting this one to previous Friday, that is 24-11-11. Same thing, if it is in the starting of the month as well. So, now uh, we shifted uh, order, order date and uh, ship date. Next, we will write calculation to find uh, number of weekdays. So, right click and uh, create calculation. Name the calculation as uh, number of working days or weekdays whatever okay first um, uh, we will write calculation to find the uh, number of uh, days between the uh, order date and ship date um, as you know date diff function uh, returns uh, number of days uh, based on the date part if you are using date part returns a difference between two dates okay start date and end date so date diff day we are we need a number of days so give the date part as day comma order date that we created uh, that we created shift order date comma end date shift ship date click ok let's see the output in every step we will see the output too for our uh, better understanding right click choose discrete We should keep this uh, calculation uh, min of because uh, this calculation is will be duplicated by number of records if more number of records are there it will sum up uh, those values instead we will get only the minimum value So, if you see the shift order date and uh, shift ship date, we are getting 4, uh, but uh, this one will not add, uh, date diff function uh, will not uh, add the first day, so we need to give press 1. Okay, now if you see uh, the number of uh, dash between shift order date and shift shift date is 15 5 2017 to 19 5 uh, 2017 15 16 17 18 19 5 days so we got number of days as 5 okay next uh, what we will do we will uh, uh, we need to subtract uh, the 
uh, weekends so for that so we need to subtract uh, uh, weekends so we know that every week has uh, two holidays so two weekends two into day diff week so we're going to find uh, number of weeks between shift order date and shift week date shift order date and shift shift date so we are enclosing all um, the calculation in, in the min function so now if you apply and then choose ok so I will explain what is the output of uh, the second part of this calculation. Right click edit. Let me take it into a new calculation field. Okay. And wrap this calculation inside min of. Okay. So let me drag this calculation right click and choose discrete so let me explain you uh, one example so this one uh, the dates are uh, from 2 11 2017 to ship date is 7 11 2017 so the number of days between uh, these two days is 2 3 4 5 6 7 6 days okay and they uh, and we have one week between these two days so and we should exclude saturday and sunday so six minus two four so we got the correct output if it is if we are having one week we are multiplying it by two so four minus two six minus two four so let me explain another uh, scenario so take this order id uh, we have uh, uh, 5 12 2017 as order date and uh, 9 12 2017 is the ship date so number of days between these is 5 but we are getting the output as 4 because we are excluding saturday how we are excluding so that's why in, for this kind of scenarios we shifted these days uh, which are falling on saturday to the previous day that is 8 so that's why we are subtracting 8 uh, minus 5 so between 5 to 8 we have 4 days which is correct um, and if you see here uh, this scenario uh, it's falling on sunday that is 27 to 1 so 27 to 1 is uh, number of days 27 to 1 is six days but we are it's falling on sunday we shifted these days to 28 so we are getting five so i hope you understand how this calculation works um if you find this video useful uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and this uh, scenario is very useful if you are working with uh, hr department and you are finding uh, average of uh, uh, work hours for employee like that so uh, I hope this video is very helpful. Thanks for watching.